I also I want to introduce now Dave Douglas uh, talk about a really interesting and I think I think you'll find fascinating uh, tool uh, that can, I think, shed a lot of light on where we are with energy funding uh, in the U.S. Uh, Dave is a high-tech executive with a focus on innovation and sustainability. Most recently, he was Senior Vice President uh, for Cloud Computing and Chief Sustainability Officer at Sun Microsystems. Uh, he oversaw the strategy of Sun's environmental initiatives, including uh, enhancement to Sun's products in energy efficiency, cooling, product recycling, and clean manufacturing. He has a BS engineering degree from and computer science degrees from MIT and is also the author of a book, Citizen Engineer, a Handbook for Socially Responsible Engineering. Dave? All right, thanks, Rob. So, uh, as, you know, as Rob described, I'm not really an energy guy. I'm as more of a, an IT guy. And a lot of time I've spent in my career, you know, really being a student of, of innovation and also of open source and, and kind of the mix of the two. And that kind of leads to leads to this project a little bit. I, uh, Sun was acquired by Oracle early this year and Oracle decided it didn't need as many executives. So I got a chance to take a little bit of a, of a break from work. Um, and, uh, and one of the things I wanted to do is figure out how, you know, how can I apply myself into energy innovation? And at about that time I attended a meeting and Rob was there and Michael and Ted were there and, and others and there's this big argument well uh, you know well how much is the federal government spending on energy R&D and a few of us were sitting around at dinner afterwards and, and, and Peter Teague was there and I said you know we should be able to answer this question you know this data in theory all exists and and out of that spun the, spun this project called the energy and the innovation tracker which I, I I'm gonna talk about for a, for a minute here and and why we're doing it today is is that the, the tool went live today and and is available um, so the outcome of this was the Energy Innovation Tracker Project. Uh, Peter Teague at, at Nathan Cummings Foundation was gracious, gracious to fund the first version of it here. And the focus was not on what should we be doing in energy R&D, but what are we doing on energy R&D today, especially uh, initially focused on what's the federal government funding. And um, so we, what, uh, the goals to doing this were, first of all, just to provide a baseline for discussion, just say, OK, what are the facts? The second was it really the most important one was how do we make it so that if people want to go look and say, well, what should we be doing in nuclear or what should we be doing in solar, very easily be able to find out, well, what projects are being funded today at DOE or the National Science Foundation? You know, what's going on in biofuels at the, at, 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 at the Ag Department? Um, and so really the goal isn't to answer questions, but provide a tool for people who are trying to ask questions so they can get answers more quickly. And ultimately, and this kind of became a goal as we groveled our way through uh, federal information systems, was to try to influence the government to report this stuff in more friendly ways so that, so that this type of research gets easier and easier. And, and ultimately, I'd love this project just to become redundant because the federal government's putting out such wonderful information that, that nobody needs to, to bother to do any other work. But we aren't quite there today. Um, so what we built is an online database. It's free. It's publicly available. We went through all the budget information, all the grant information, and then tried to get down to the lowest level of granularity of how much where dollars were going in energy R&D funding. And it's called it's at, at uh, energyinnovation.us. Uh, there's a little piece of paper in in your uh, in your folder that's got the URL in it. It's, it's uh, open and live today, and, and we've got information from. We've gone and done this for 2009, 2010, 2011, and all the recovery funds to the extent they've been allocated and specified where the, where they're going. Um, it's uh, we you know we have to make judgment calls. What is it? What is goes in R and D? What goes in basic science? You know, you know what do you count? What do you not? We've taken a first crack at that. Where we definitely want to have an ongoing discussion, but try to be very clear and open about what we've included and not and, and why. Um, and uh, so you know, take a look at it. I hope hope you'll give it a try. We've had a great team of people: um, Matt Stepp, Jesse Jenkins, uh, Sarah Mansour, Alex Tweedy are all here who've been incredible help in, in making this in making this come apart so it's in beta today take a look at it energyinnovation.us we really want feedback for the next couple months on hey you should have included this or you we really don't think you thought about that this correctly and what we want to do is kind of do that the database will be going through kind of a little upheaval during this time then we're going to really try to lock it down in february and then do more regular updates as we get the 2012 budget request or 2011 settles down or we can get kind of the final set of NSF grants from 2010, we'll start to inclu keep including those
those in kind of a regular way and keep it as a dynamic resource. So take a look at it. I uh, love everybody's feedback and hopefully it'll start to provide and accelerate this discussion about what, uh, what should be going on next. So thank you very much.